Hi guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. Today I will tell you the application of a pick, which is also called a plectrum. Now uh, you can see the shape. There are various shapes. This is the very standard one. This is a it's a it's a standard pick. I've got another one also here of a different color, little difference in the thickness of a pick. But usually I suggest go for a pick which has a thickness of about 0.75 to 0.90 mm. That is your thickness of the pick. Don't go lower than that and don't go higher than that. It cannot be very very hard. Why? Because it's very heavy on the strings, and it cannot be very very soft. Why? Because as you play, it gets very uncomfortable to play with a very very soft pick. So go for something which is about 0.75 to 0.90 mm, and you should be perfectly okay with the same. The first way to hold a pick involves a very simple uh, hold, which is you hold it with your thumb and the first finger like that at both the ends. The second hold is a more conventional hold. That's how people used to hold the pick before. Before this modern hold came, this is that at one end you keep your thumb, and at the other end you keep two fingers instead of only keeping your index finger. So it's index, middle, and then your thumb. Leave about this much room to play the strings properly. Both these are absolutely okay. Either you hold the pick like this or like this. But I strongly request you not to hold the pick like this. Now, a lot of people hold the pick like this. It's not absolutely wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's a little stiff hold. What happens is, for lead, it's good. But when you're playing a rhythm pattern, it's not. It's a little stiff hold compared to the other holds that I've just taught you. like that it's a little too stiff and slows me down so i'm a little on the slower side compared to when i'm holding the pick with two fingers and thumb and with one finger and thumb so both these holds are absolutely okay hi guys i hope you learned something from my tutorial today if you did please like it and share it with your friends to keep yourself updated about my upcoming tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. The link is given right below. To watch my previous tutorials, please click the link above. I'll see you in the next video.